Come back in the kitchen again with Chef Ricardo cooking show, guys. Amazing. Meat free Monday. Meat free Monday. This Monday, we're doing something totally different. Different style, different techniques, and something which you want to try in your own kitchen at home. It's going to be set off. Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> going to be set off in the kitchen, guys. Honestly, it's going to be amazing. Fantastic. New style, new recipe, tips and ideas for you to use in your own kitchen at home. But this one going to be some curry cabbage with some. We got mushroom. We got a lot of stuff going on inside of this vegetable right here. All right. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to be naming out all of my vegetables I'm going to be using, and I'm going to put the camera straight in the pot, right in the pot. It's going to go. So don't go anywhere. I love you all. Stay tuned. My name is Chef Ricard. I try my best to give you some lovely recipe, guys. I'm going to be serving with some coconut rice. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere and watch this beautiful recipe. Um, a lot of coconut recipe on my YouTube channel. How to cook coconut rice recipe on the YouTube channel, guys. So basically, you can search one of those recipe. And I, if you want me, I can put the link in, in the description box. Or you can make Jamaican coconut rice at home. Lovely and nice. So basically, it's just a simple little recipe which I have over here. I got. I'm going to be telling you exactly what I have over here. I have some Jamaican curry powder. Here it is. All right, we got cabbage, we got mushroom, peppers, tomato, white onion, and I also have some carrot, fresh thyme, you know what I mean? I got some chili, I got some spring onion, I got some garlic, and we may add a little bit more things as we goes along with this beautiful recipe. All right, guys, so don't stress yourself, don't worry yourself, this is gonna be fantastic and amazing. Just take a, a good look and, you know what I mean? Grab yourself a pen and a piece of paper and start to write down some of these ingredients as we go through it bit by bit. Alright? Sell off in the kitchen with Chef Ricardo today, guys. Stay tuned. We love you all. Stay tuned. Beautiful, beautiful one. Beautiful one, this one. This is just amazing to be in the kitchen to share this fantastic, lovely, amazing recipe with you today. This one going not gonna be an easy one, guys. Honestly, curry cabbage with a lot of things. Sell off. I got a medium sized frying pan right here. You can use the light spray oil, but what I'm gonna do this time, I'm definitely gonna be have to give it another twist. I'm gonna be using a little bit, roughly about a teaspoon of vegetable oil inside of the pot. All right, what we're going to do is I'm gonna be showing you exactly what you need to do. Turn on your stove on a medium size heat. You don't want to be too hot. All right, guys. So what we're gonna do right now is simply put some white onion in the pot. All right. Get the white onion and stir fry. All right, guys. Put some white onion in the pot. All right. Once you put the white onion in the pot, then basically, if you have one of Chef Ricardo garlic press, you are very good to go. If you don't have one, go to my website and get it. It's very important. All right, you just crush the garlic. All right, just like this. All right, guys, beautiful one. It's easy, easy. Nothing too complicated because I'm not going to make none of you guys. I love everyone. I'm not going to make a stress on myself by doing this one. All right. I'm going to put a little bit of fresh thyme in it. Not much. It's a little bit of fresh thyme. Wow, smell that beautiful garlic. Ah, the garlic scent. All right, now what we're going to be doing, we're going to put a teaspoon of curry powder, all right, inside of it. Wow. Ah, it's very strong. <coughs> ah, the curry powder is strong. Carrot. You know, we have to put some carrot inside of it. All right, guys, it's amazing to know that we got all of these ingredients. All right, so what we're gonna do now is cut up some carrot. And we're gonna put the beauty, this carrot straight inside of it. All right, that is lovely. So we got the white one and the garlic. I know it's a, it's a carrot, look at that. Beautiful. That is fantastic and an amazing. Now we're gonna just chuck some mushroom inside of it also. Cause I'm telling you guys, a lot of people might not know. Mushroom is very, very good for you. All right? A lot of people doesn't like mushroom, but I'm telling you, 
You know, when I was a young one, grew up in the Caribbean, I didn't like mushroom, honestly. <laughs> I'll tell her lies, trust me. I didn't like it, but I get used to it now, man. Tell her, I get used to it, I do it in all different styles. Brown stew, garlic, everything. Alright, lovely. That looking good. We're gonna put a spring onion. And we're gonna fry off all of this cabbage and everything right here. We're gonna put some Jamaican. And this is some. Not Jamaican. This is some peppers, you know what I mean? Not, not hot peppers. This is sweet peppers. Alright, that looking good. Let's put in a little piece in, in, in it, you know what I mean? Not too much. Lovely and nice. So you just want to give that a lovely stir. Curry mushroom to sell off Chef Ricardo. Look how that look nice already. Beautiful. We're gonna put some chili. I got some red chili and I love my chili. So basically, I definitely have to add some chili to it, guys. 100%. You know what I mean? Now I have some plum tomato. I'm gonna just chop them all up inside of it. That's pretty good to go. Look at the color and the texture and everything in the pot. Look at that. Amazing. Now is the cabbage time, all right, guys. So what we want to do, we just want to simply want to move the art out of the cabbage. You know what I mean? And we're gonna simply please don't do this at home. Very dangerous, all right. You have to be a chef to do that. All right, guys. I love everyone on. Now. We're going to be, all right. All right, guys. Beautiful one. So we have to keep it, you know what I mean, flowing. All right, now, as I said, is a stir fried cabbage, curry stir fried cabbage. This is going to be fantastic and amazing. All right, this is going to be amazing one guys honestly i did a video like this back in the days huh? all right so basically we only put the curry inside of it all right remember you know, only the curry alone we have in the pot so we need to add a little bit of season to it to bring up the flavor to the curry so what we're going to do we're going to put some all-purpose season inside of it Roughly about half teaspoon. And we're going to put a little bit of mixed herb. And this one is um, vegetable season. Just gonna put a little bit. That is amazing. Look at that, guys. Fantastic. Tell me you now, you, you at home right now, especially in the current year and all them things they are going on right now, and you decide to do something in the evening, and then your job, you look in your cupboard, in your fridge, you're looking at everything, and you just come across the cabbage, and yeah, I said this is what we have left in the kitchen, Chef Ricardo. Look at that, guys. Tell me, that is fantastic and amazing. But we're gonna do, we're just gonna pop a little bit of water. You know what I mean? Just, just look at that. That is just amazing. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's just good to have something tasteable in your mouth. You know what I mean? With this beautiful curry stir fry cabbage. Sell off. Look at that. Amazing. The color, the texture, everything is fantastic. It's just beautiful. Honestly, it's just what? Beautiful. That is just lovely and nice. I love it. See how that look, guys? Honestly, that's exactly what we're looking for. Now, I'm just gonna simply cover it and allow it to steam for a nice good five minutes or ten minutes, alright? Stay tuned. 
Mes chef a caught it. Wow. You have to put that bubble up. Nice one. You just sweat. Nicely, you know? Yeah. Just a sweat nicely with the mushroom and everything in it. That's a cook up lovely. Yeah, man. Make it cook down straight. Turn into a nice lovely little sauce in it. I mean, we're not gonna have no butter. You can add butter to yours if you want, but I'm just gonna keep my own a little bit simple and just unique like this. All right, guys, stay tuned. Nice one, guys. So basically, things looking good, I sir. All right. If you notice, I didn't put no salt in the pot. You know why? Because all of those seasons have salt. All right. Yeah, this is finished. We're gonna shear it up right now. Without a doubt. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Amazing. Lovely and nice. Yeah, man. Look at that. Beautiful. Fantastic. Lovely. Nice. And beautiful, guys. Honestly. And that's exactly what Chef Ricardo been talking about. All right. Look at that, with the fresh thyme, the spring onion, the garlic, everything is a laugh. Let's share it up. So basically, I just bowl up a plate of coconut rice and I decide to just simple serve it around that beautiful coconut rice. So it's going to be looking amazing on the plate, alright guys? Look at, the, look at the juice running off the cherry tomato and the, the mushroom it is fantastic all right so if you're at home this is what you can do you know what i mean beautiful all right guys so yeah thank you so much for watching chef ricotta show we got a lot more recipes a lot more ideas will be coming from chef ricotta the team and what we're going to do now is lift the proper bowl with that beautiful rice and it is just amazing fantastic guys look at that that is just lovely nice and simple for you guys to have at home in the kitchen all right look at that beautiful beautiful it's just beautiful guys straight vegetarian nothing no meat nothing you know and that's exactly what chef ricardo been talking about that's exactly what i've been talking about look at that amazing see you next time in the kitchen with more beautiful recipe like this bye bye Nice and lovely guys, and basically right here I'm going to be making some beetroot juice with just ginger, beetroot, lemon and honey served with ice. You know what I mean? After you have your meat free meat Monday, this is what you want to have. Alright, so I'm going to chuck two beetroot, I'm already removed the skin and cut them up straight inside of my blender. Alright guys. Now, I'm going to put roughly about two cups of water. I got some Jamaican ginger. Really spicy and nice. Alright. Um, secondly, what I'm going to do is put roughly about half of a lemon inside of it. And not only that, it's better for you to blend it. With the, with the honey. So about two teaspoons of honey inside of it. Now you're good to go. Alright guys. Now what we're going to do is. Right now we're just going to simple. Give it a lovely blend. And definitely we are very good to go. With this beautiful blending right now guys. So 
Without a doubt, stay tuned, relax, and enjoy the blending. All right, guys? So now I have a strainer ready to strain off this beautiful beet juice. Alright, you can see me like love the ginger. So basically, if you have to, uh, uh, what, what happened with the beet root here? Yeah? Right now you can uh, drink it same way like this, but you know we don't want the fiber. We're gonna strain it and get that thickness of it. You know what I mean? You have to do this, you know, and get rid of that fiber. You don't want to drink that too much. Look how it thick and nice. You saw it a thick and nice and I run down inside? Yeah. That's, that's exactly what we call a nice, lovely beetroot juice. That looking really good. Look at that. Nice to make all that beetroot cake. Yeah, you can make beetroot sponge cake, you know? Come up with that recipe for your soul. Yeah, you don't have to stress yourself. Beautiful one. Alright, guys. Yeah, that's exactly what Chef Ricardo been talking about. Look at that. Lovely and nice. So we're gonna serve it up now. Nice one guys. So basically right here we're gonna put some ice in our glass. And then we're just pouring our beetroot like this. So that look nice. And yeah, that's exactly what Chef Ricard have been talking about. Exactly. Look how that look beautiful and nice. Without a doubt. What you can also do. Simple. Put a few slices of lime inside of it. You know? Look at that. Amazing. Please enjoy the recipe and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We've got a lot more recipes, a lot more ideas will be coming from Chef Record and the team. Please tell a friend and a friend tell a friend. Without a doubt. Stay tuned with Chef Ricardo one more time in the kitchen with your beetroot juice. See you next time.